my next question is uh, as a student we all think that organic chemistry is a has a very vast course and it's a very very big kind of subject and uh, how should a student prepare to the point to get the maximum output see preparation first of all it is not uh, very vast uh, because the syllabus may be vast because but what we have to learn what would be new for you that would be a small section of the portion and the rest of it would be just the application of what we have already studied so uh, but as per your question of preparation to the point preparation to the point is actually preparation of the entire syllabus that is what you should do because i tell you this is an important section of your syllabus and in this you should not actually compromise you should not pick and choose and study things because this is actually going to give you an edge in exam so the best kind of preparation would be to study it in and out know everything that's out there to learn but still suppose you have uh, less time and you have already reached to the last stages of your preparation and uh, you want to still prepare for it then you can still prepare for it for that what you have to do is you have to go through the first 15 20% of the syllabus that is mandatory without that you would do nothing in this course so study if you have less time you listen to our lecture or read a book which presents that theory very precisely and succinctly you read that 15 20% of the syllabus actually master that if you have less time at least master that now after that what you do you take a print out of itj syllabus and you see the main reactions in that syllabus study the major things because it has been seen that itj ask many questions from the name reactions you try and identify the name reaction from the syllabus and you study that that would save you if you don't have time to study anything else the least that you should study is study the name reactions and understand them fully like you study aldol condensation you study benzoin condensation you study dial sider reaction you study pinkel steel reaction you study bare beleaguer oxidation you study the kunz rearrangement you study fries rearrangement you study grignard reaction you study this electrolysis you study williamson ether synthesis you study sandmeyer reaction these are the major reaction that i'm telling and similarly you can find out other from the syllabus so if you have done this much then it will act, this is going to help you are actually going to score a major majors in uh, organic chemistry so if you really have crunch of time then this is the minimum that you should do otherwise you should have to go for full fledged preparation of this because this is the important part. 